Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about how uh, you can uh, change manually or uh, programmatically uh, initial view controller to uh, start uh, start your app in Swift uh, and Xcode. So uh, we will handle this uh, with both manually with Xcode and uh, with uh, program uh, and Swift. Okay, first of all, we need to start our project. But uh, before that, I uh, will show you how uh, gonna be uh, our project at the end. Uh, so. As you see here, my uh, program uh, start with page A now. Okay, uh, so I'll come here and I show you know you will see it's uh, A and also in my codes uh, it says uh, start with A. So we just changing this uh, to B. You will see that uh, this time program will start in its uh, page B. Yeah. So yeah, let's uh, start and make this uh, project together. And uh, first of all, I close this, and uh, I start new project. Actually, I rewrite. Okay, I uh, start new project, single view app. I name it iOS Swift. Initial view control. Okay, I say next. Yeah, I put in final, then I can push it to GitHub. Uh, it says already exists, no problem. Replace it with brand new project. So the previous one has been deleted and the new one is here now. Okay, so first of all, I'll show you uh, that uh, uh, initial view, what, what that means. So when you click on uh, this uh, view controller yellow button, uh, you will come to on your right side, you will have some uh, Inspector, the an attribute one, uh, and under view controller, under title, you will see is initial. It should be initial because this is the only uh, view controller that I have now. So I add another one. So for this one, you will see that it's not initial. Okay, uh, so what we do? First of all, we need to name our uh, view controllers. So I name this one view B. And that one, this one, view A. Okay. And uh, also, I add uh, some, uh, you know, one button and one title. Okay, then uh, I add one button, I make it say to page my page and I also uh, give it background okay also I add a label here we go and uh, this label will say page A and make it center I make it a little bit bigger and I change text color to dark blue okay so I choose both of this and then I say command C come here and command V okay so 
I make this one now a page B and this one could be the same. Okay, so the only things that I need to do, I need to make this add the constraint to all of these four objects uh, to keep same size when I align it to the center to keep uh, size, otherwise it will change. Okay, so then I align this one horizontally and vertically, align this one only horizontally, and I say vertical space cube with this. Okay, this one again, I align, up, uh, align it center. All the vertical and horizontal, and this one only horizontal, and I keep size with this. Okay, so now I want to say, okay, when I tab on this, go here and tab on this, come back here. So I choose this one, control drag to this page, show, and this one, control drag, uh, choose this one, show. Oh, actually I choose the wrong one, uh, show details, I want to show only. So no problem, we will come here and see here. Okay, I, if you come uh, and select this one here in your, in your attribute, you have it, so you can change it to show, or whatever you like, whatever supposed to be. Okay, so I close this one as well. Uh, okay, so let's uh, test project now again. So initial is page A or view A, and page B is not initial now. So when I run my uh, program, you will see that page A will come. Okay, so I choose, uh, tap on the swipe page and go to B and A. Okay, so I close this one. Now I want to manually change it to this. So I just need to click on this U controller yellow button and click here, you know, in attributes inspector under view. Here I select it. Okay, so now when I run, I expect that the program start with uh, page B as you see. It's the uh, initial uh, pointer is on page B. Yes, it's on page B. Okay, so uh, that's it for manual. But uh, for what about uh, what if uh, if we want to do it by program? Not big deal. We will go to app delegate, and we will go to application first function, application for did finish launch, launching with options. Uh, so here we can overwrite this function uh, so what we want to write here first of all we will create uh, our storyboard so we create a constant UI storyboard and we name it main bundle yeah okay then we say okay in the controller and this one our storyboard dot ins then shiate view controller this uh, actually instantiate view controller not instantiate initial, instantiate view controller, okay? And identify. So if you remember, we named them view A and B. Right now it is on view B. So I say, okay, I want to be view A. So now I just uh, ha have to write self dot window dot root view controller I want to be initial view controller and I say self dot window dot 
just make key and visible okay so let's run program so now I edit program uh, I change uh, initial view to be page or page B or if you uh, you know view controller will identify the storyboard ID A there you go so if I say B it will go and start with B so this one will be override what what is uh, whatever we wrote in our uh, X code and we mentioned in X code. Yeah, that's it uh, for today, and uh, I hope you like the video. Uh, please uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it, and also don't forget to subscribe for new video uh, coming every day. If you have any question, ask in comments. I'll be more than happy to answer. Have a good one. Bye bye.